And welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 9.5.0. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue our build on a capital ship. Uh, just a reminder that we will be doing our Any Build giveaway on Wednesday, March the 13th, two days from now. And um, where people can enter their original builds, and viewers will vote on which build they think is the best in the four classes. Uh, SV, CV, Base, and Hover Vessel. And the winners will have their builds featured on my YouTube channel and on Stock Gaming's YouTube channel. And we'll have some Game Key giveaways for those winners. So if you want to stop by and participate, um, either as a viewer to vote or actually enter an original build. It does have to be an original build. It cannot be something you've pulled off the workshop and modified. Um, stop by our Discord for details. You can find the Discord link in the About section of the YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that Like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to pull these back out like we did in the last episode and fill some blocks in there. And I have uh, some more fuel tanks that I have cooking up. Let's get this painted. All right, I'm going to go grab those fuel tanks. All right, so let's grab this. And we'll put the big tanks in there, and then I'll slide in more tanks there later when we get a chance. Actually, you know what I might do is I'm going to take both of those back out, and we'll put a, a twofer in here when it's ready. Okay, let's paint this guy blue. That's kind of blue, too blue. Yeah, we'll make it a darker blue. And then we're going to put a med bay in here as well. So that way when people come in, if they're hurt, they can heal up right away. And don't have to go all the way up to the medical, the sick bay to do all that. And we'll make that red. I think we're going to turn this a green color. Where is our... There we go. Made a couple more armor lockers, so we'll put one there. And it can also be... Let's make it a lighter green. There we go. Now, on top of here, I might actually want to put maybe some kind of a container. Um, the idea being that we use it to store... I think what it has to be, does it have to be a container controller? Could we do it? We could probably just put a normal container there. Uh, but anyway, the idea there would be that we would use it to store extra armor. I don't know. I mean, we do have quite a few slots in here, but over time, uh, that will fill up. And we'll probably actually sell the excess. So, hmm. All right, not sure about that yet. Let's just, let's hold off on that idea. Now, what is directly above here? Or actually, you know what I I might want to do here. I don't know if one ventilator can cover this entire deck. But one, I'm thinking about what I was thinking is if we get somewhere in the middle ish here and pop a ventilator in the center of the, of the ceiling, which is going to be right here, if it would cover both this deck and the next deck. I guess there's one way to find out, right? So let's plan on that for now, and if it turns out that that's not adequate later on, um, then we will add more ventilators. Okay, so I typically use red for my main constructor. I typically use green for my fuel and um, oxygen constructor. Well, you know what? Actually, let's use... Let's use 
blue for that. Let's use that blue. And then for our ore processing constructor, uh, let's go with kind of a, a construction yellow color, I guess. <coughs> do I want to darken that up a little bit? Yeah, I think I do. Let's use that blue. And I might uh, actually, you know, put some signs and stuff in too. And we have a lot of room in behind here for things. Um... So I'm just, you know, there's there's a variety of different ways that we can figure out how we want to set up our containers and logistics and that sort of thing. And that's that particular aspect of all this, I, I haven't really figured out yet. I think there's a really cool way we can do it. I just don't know what that cool way is yet. One possibility, well, I'll tell you what, before we work on the constructors, let's get, let's get the two specialized... Um, the two specialized containers in place. Because one is for ammo and one is for harvesting uh, when we harvest with our actual um, ship here. So we could kill two birds with one stone. And what is this one? That's the ore and wood. So we could put this guy, whoop, on top of here. It looks like it needs to turn this way. And the idea will be that it'll feed right into uh, you know what else I'm thinking here? All right, let's let me change something. I'm gonna make this orange, and that will be yellow. Well, actually, we I think I don't know if I can do this for sure, but I think we might be able to. We should be able to use that to feed both of these guys. Uh, I think. Uh, this is all new to me. I haven't really messed a lot with this yet. So, let... Uh, I think we have to do a grouping. Okay. Now, let's call this... Um, what do we want to call this? I'm going to just call it Ore Controller... Because we're not, we, you know, we're not going to get wood in the capital ship anyway, so it doesn't really make sense. To put wood in there as well. Okay, so now if we go into here, we should be able to assign that order controller and this one order controller. There. So now that guy should theoretically, right, feed into both of these uh, constructors. Now the next thing is to take the extensions. Oh, how much space do we have in here already? There's a the controller itself has a decent amount of space, but let's add these extensions to it. And I want to see, oops, container extension. So we can't open those directly. Connect to container on the right. So that changed our volume to 32,000. What's this? Access first device that uses the assigned container. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, whoa, how come my toolbar's all yellow now? 
That's interesting. I want to name this... Um, Orange Constructor. And this will be Yellow Constructor. Okay, so access, first device. It doesn't tell me that I'm in the yellow constructor. Hmm. It is in the advanced constructor, it just doesn't tell me I'm in the yellow one. That's interesting. All right, um, I don't know why my toolbar turned yellow I might figure that out or I might not so if you guys want to tell me in the in the comments what that what that actually means I'd like to know it showed up when I told it to connect to here connect to the container if enabled picked up items will be put in that container also enables the connected toolbar where you can store items to use for building. Connected toolbar. Okay. So I think what that means is if I'm out and about building, because presumably because we have wireless now, I can store stuff in here and access it from here without having to actually be here. And maybe that's why my toolbar is yellow. And this can be toggled off and on from here. Hmm, how do I turn it off when I'm not in the menu, though? There's probably a hotkey for it, huh? F4. While selected with T, you can use the items you moved here from the connected container. While selected with T. So is it T that toggles that? Ah, yeah, okay. Interesting, okay. That's pretty damn cool. Remember, guys, this is new stuff to me. And some of you guys are going, well, that's been that way for a long time. Well, not for me, it hasn't. So cut me some slack, man. I'm just teasing. Okay, so the next question I have is, 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 is this just using, because I don't see extensions show up at all. So, does it automatically use the space of these by, is, you know, if it's physically connected? Let's see if we can determine that. See, right now we have 32,000 volume, okay? If we pick, whoops, if we pick these back up. Now what's it happen? 16,000. Ah, okay. Let's try something else. Let's pick this one up too. Oh, well, it put that inside of here too because connected toolbars and all that kind of thing. Cool. Uh, okay. So, so we have 8,000 by itself. And if we do T... And we put one there. It automatically adds to it. Okay. Nice. And I guess all this means is I want to connect to this specific storage array to get stuff out of it remotely. That's what I think that means. So if we add these guys back, now we should be back up to 32,000. Sweet. Okay. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. Okay, cool. Um, so, so that basically then makes all of this the storage for, 
for or. And what and what I'm going to do, <coughs> it's obviously going to act as the harvester box <coughs> for the ship itself when we mine with the ship. But I'm also going to, when I bring ore in myself, I'm going to also uh, put it in here. So when we get ore ourselves from the, the miners. So now the next thing I want to do is, well, I think we've already done it. So we've basically set the ore controller as the input to both of these constructors. So that's done. And so we load that thing up with ore, we turn those things on, and it processes. Um, we're going to have to tell it to do that, though. So that's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's set up a similar scenario here for... Well, this is our ammo container. Let's deal with that next, actually. That's kind of a... Well, no, you know what? Let's, let's think about this for a second. What we could do and what we want to do is have one of these constructors feed uh, our output to the ammo box, the one we're going to use to make ammo, which could be the red one. We could do all of our ammo production in the red one because, you know, once once the ship's built and we're out and about and doing our on our expeditions, we're not going to be building a whole lot of uh, new components and things. Excuse me. So I think it makes sense for this to be, you know, also be for our ammo production. So let's put, let's put this here, uh, right over the middle of it. And we need to turn it this way. Oh, I have it too far back. Yeah, that's where we want it. All right, we are not going to need 32,000 uh, volume for ammo. So let's just put two extensions on that. And we need to color all this too. That's already green, so we could probably just leave it the default color. Let's do a, a grouping here. And we're basically just going to call this ammo controller. There we go. And it has um, 24,000 volume. And if it turns out that that's actually not enough, uh, you know, then we will at that point in time increase it if we need to. That is brown. So let's also make these brown. Hmm. I wonder if... We should do that too. Just so everything's nice and cozy and color coded, you know what I mean? <coughs> cool. All right, next, next we're going to have, uh, we're going to take a, a generic controller and we're going to put it here. We're going to color it blue. And we're going to name it Fuel um, O2 Controller. And it's, it's only job is to make us fuel and oxygen for the ship. That's all, it's, all it does. Now, again, on the input here, 
I'm thinking let's just try two and we can always add more later if it turns out to be not enough. Now, I was going to make output containers, but I don't know if I'll do that. I might just use these as they are for the output containers as well. So the ammo box will be the input, but, oh, that's right, we need to set it, we need to set it uh, here too. So let's call this constructor um, gin ammo for general ammo. I don't know if I can get all those words in there. Let's try it. Gin or roll hyphen ammo constructor. Yeah, it lets me do it. Okay. And we want it to. Uh, ammo controller. Um, I'm having a senior moment here. So how do I assign this constructor? Um, oh, there we go. I was pressing P and not E. All right, so the input to this is... We're just going to make the input and the output the ammo controller. So I'll feed materials into here, and it'll push them back out into here. You know, too, if we want to stay matching, we can turn that green. So that's ammo and normal stuff. That's oxygen and fuel, and that's ores. And we have two constructors for processing ores, so we get double the, the whammy. All right. I think that's what we're going to go with, you guys. I think that's what we're going to go with. So, what else? We have a lot more room over here. What else would we put down here? Um, if nothing else, I suppose we could use this as another parking area. You know, for more hover vessels. Like for guests and that sort of thing. There was a timer. And we have a lot of space back here that we can tuck stuff into as needed. So what I'm thinking I might do here um, we could we could go ahead and put in just a general storage controller. Um, so one thing I have typically done in the past is I've had a, a container that's dedicated to stuff that we're going to sell. However, um, you know, the deconstructor is, you know, kind of takes the place of that in a lot of, in, you know, a lot of stuff that I used to sell. Instead, I'll just melt it down. But there's still going to be some things that we're probably going to want to sell. Um, so let's... Let's consider this, I, I, I want a general purpose storage and I want a two cell storage. Now we do also need to do, we have food and medical as categories too, but th that stuff we're gonna have uh, in the, the mess hall anyway. So we're not, we wouldn't put those back here. We could, I suppose, now that everything's wireless, but I still think it makes sense to have everything up there. So we're going to call this one, let's paint this uh, yellow. And let's paint this one uh, white. 
okay? And we're going to name this guy um, Sellables Controller. And we're going to name this one General Storage Controller. Whoops. Yeah, it took. Okay. All right, and then I think what we'll do here is I think I'm just going to leave this area open for now. And if I come up with well, we might as well paint. Let's go ahead and paint it. Let's just do it. That way it's it's done. But we might change things up in the future if we find. Um, you know, if we if we decide there's something else we want to put in there, but we'll just go ahead and paint the same uh, area that we did here. Whoops, I had it there for parking. Those are the same size. Switch to this one. There we go. So those will just be spare parking areas for now. And if we have guests that come with us or whatever, they can park their, their hover vessel there. Uh, we could even bring in and park, like, small SVs in here, too, if we wanted to. Like, we could go grab the Claude right now and park it there. This was just a little small vessel I put together on, on one stream uh, in the very early Alpha 9, I think it was. Uh, streams that we did. Let's get our angle set up here. It's kind of, it's very squirrely. Yeah, I'm going to have to do sensors on these doors because they don't behave. Whoop. Let's come back over here. Uh oh, is my tail tail fin too high to get in here? Right, level out. No, I was gonna say it shouldn't be. Whoa, I can't see. Huh? Oh, come on, game. Here. There we go. Ah, oh, god damn it. My camera keeps glitching out on me here. Okay, level out. External view, hit that. There we go. Now don't weird out on me here, dude. That looks good. 
looks pretty close to sit, being in the center. Oh, uh, you know what? This thing's probably set to faction too. Now that I think about it. Well, we can't, yeah, we can't take off with that set to faction. So we might need to just make the ship public. Uh, I gotta think about that for a minute. The easier thing for me to do is just to respawn this in as a private ship. Oh. It, okay, never mind. We're good. We're all good. Make sure it docks. Okay. Yeah, this is just a very, very cheap starter ship. Everything on it is normal steel. Uh, but it was fun. It did the job. Okay, cool. So, guys, I think... I think we're done with this bay. Um, I don't know if I want to do anything with the ceiling or not. There are a couple more fuel tanks that I want to put in here, though. That's what we want to do, is we want to squeeze one of these single, well, no doubles, I guess, into here. Like that. And we'll paint it this blue. We're going to do the same thing over here. There's one, uh, one more thing we might do. And that is maybe put some lights down here. Um, what if we, where are my lights? They must be out here. So we could just line this whole ceiling with these. I kind of like these double lights. There. So if we turn our light off, that gives us some light down here. I don't think it'll affect the exterior lighting, since it only goes to there anyway. And we'll have our light on all the time anyhow. So between the ceiling lights and our light, uh, I think we're pretty good on lighting down here. <coughs> we're not going to get away you know, from the blue saturated look that we have on this ship on the interior, just because, and I explained that in an earlier video, if you guys didn't, didn't hear me say that, um, you know, I want the exterior of the ship to take precedence in terms of the lighting and the overall look because it's called the black light. And so on the inside, it does get, uh, you know, kind of saturated in some areas with that blue light. But if you keep your, if you keep your, you know, shoulder light on, that kind of dissipates it a little bit so it's not ideal but you know maybe someday I will try and tweak the external lights a little more and see if I can come up with a better balance between the inside and the outside but I do not have the time nor the desire to do that right now not for this not for our initial release version anyway all right guys thank you very much for watching I appreciate uh, you hanging out with me today um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, we have basically have two... Oh, we got three more things we need to do. We need to get this upper deck set up, which shouldn't take too long. Um, I need to do some line painting in the Raiders, on the Raiders deck. So the thing about the Raiders deck here is, I mean, we there is a ton of space. It is by far the largest single area of the ship but because this raider is so damn long there really isn't a lot we can do with it so we're going to kind of leave it the way it is uh, i want to do some work here in the wings too just some texturing some pathways maybe a little painting and that sort of thing 
Uh, so we'll do that as well. Uh, a little bit more container work to do down in the hydroponics area. And once that's done, I think we're going to call this our, our initial build of the ship ready to go. So I don't know if I'll be able to get all of that done in the next episode. It's probably going to take me another two to three episodes to do all that. We'll just see how our time goes. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, don't forget, Wednesday the 13th, March the 13th, in a couple of days from now, it is Monday afternoon right now, uh, we are having our contest, our Any Build contest, where you can enter an original build in, in one of the four classes, SV, CV, HV, or Base. And the viewers in the stream that night will vote on their favorite in each category, and the winners get will have their build featured on my YouTube channel, on Stock Gaming's YouTube channel, and we'll have some game keys uh, for those four winners as well. Okay, so if you guys want to come and hang out and be a part of that, uh, check out the Discord. You can find the link to the Discord in the About section of the channel, and hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday. I'm excited we're going to have fun with this.